Because Lady Liberty needs some glow. Yes, she does. Hello, everyone. How are we? It's Mo. Welcome to today's video. I'm sipping on a little dragon fruit lychee smoothie, getting myself refreshed and hydrated for today's video. Because today, I'm going to be sharing with you a full face with my summer favorites. And... Today's video is in collaboration with Dee's Journey. We're gonna be sharing with you the products that we know will last through the humidity, help us feel good, look great, and not melt away completely. <laughs> now, Dee has been on YouTube. She's been sharing her journey with us, guys, her weight loss journey, what she eats, and of course, makeup. All the pretty, beautiful, luxury, amazing makeup. I will have her video, her channel, and all of her socials linked down below. Be sure to go check her out, show her some love, and let's continue uplifting each other, guys. All right, let's get started. Come on. Hi again. It's Mo, which is short for Monique, and here on my channel, I like to review, test out, play around with all things luxury, beauty, and skincare. This is our happy place. This is our positive space, and we just love to have fun with makeup. If you're into that stuff, consider subscribing, and if you like today's video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. So we both happen to live in very tropical and humid climates. We both live in Florida, <laughs> and Florida is, you know, somewhat summer all year round, but... Currently, right now, it is like already feeling like 100 plus degrees. So we both wanted to share the products that we know will last through the humidity and help us look and feel beautiful out on a summer day. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom you on in, start applying everything, and you know, we'll talk as we apply. Skincare is done. Skin is prepped. We're ready to roll. One thing I highly suggest, and this is year round, is sunscreen. Always make sure you apply your sunscreen. Alicia of Kinky Sweat has an awesome, very detailed, pretty much a brain dump on why certain sunscreens and why not others. So I'll have that video linked for you down below. But this is the sunscreen I'm currently using and loving. And I highly suggest you don't ever forget your sunscreen. So let's start off with the eyes today. I'm going to do something fun with a little bit of color that's quick. And I'm going to be using one of my favorite. The Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. Hands down, my absolute favorite palette. I think it's a combination of the colors because I love greens and then who doesn't love the bronzes and the little pops of blue, but the formulation on this palette is just outstanding. So I'm just going to quickly prime my eyes with another favorite, the Marc Jacobs Undercover Coconut Eye Primer. I've been using this forever. And it really helps these shadows last on your lids. And I feel like it hydrates my lids a little bit and kind of just smooths them out a little. I'm going to do my usual look with this palette and it's with greens because greens happen to be some of my favorite colors. I'm starting off with the shade Lethal. That's probably the most used color in this palette. I like her a lot. So I'm going to run that in the crease and on the outer V. I know you may be thinking green, really? For a... But yeah, really. I don't know. I just love green eyeshadow. If I had the choice, I would wear green eyeshadow over a brown, gold, smoky any day. And this palette, not only is the formula outstanding, but it just contains some of my absolute favorite colors. Now with that same brush, I just cleaned it off a little. I'm gonna go into this shade here called Rope. Use that to soften the edges. Now the fun part, my favorite part. I'm gonna take my finger and we're gonna go into this shade here, Orium, and just tap that on the lid. I do get a little bit of fallout with this color, so that's why I decided to do my eyes first. I'm going into this deep green shade, Royal, and I'm gonna use that to create a little wing on.
We'll finish up the lower lash line once we get the rest of our face makeup applied. But I use my finger, I use a glittery shade so we have a little bit of a, you know, cleaning up to do. So let's prime. I'm going in with my Sicily Double Tinsier. This is a hydrating gel formula. It's like a second layer to your skin. It also has skincare, so if you have fine lines, wrinkles, redness, it'll help treat them. It creates a breathable layer on your skin to then allow makeup to adhere and stay because it does create a little bit of attack which is going to definitely help your makeup last longer. Now during the summer, I'm all about healthy skin, glowy skin with a little bit of coverage. So I'll be using the skin tint today. And the one I love most, especially in the summer, is the Ilia. This is the Super Serum Skin Tint, SPF of 40. This just feels like skincare. It's literally a serum skin tint. So I just go in with a little on the hands. Now one thing about this product is that it does oxidize. So it may come out lighter at first, but within, I want to say 30 seconds, I think you can see it already, it has darkened up a little. And I try not to rub it too much and just give it light pats so that it can get pressed into the skin and not disrupt my sunscreen, my primer, and all that other stuff. This skin tint is just that, a skin tint. It gives you a little bit of coverage, a little bit of warmth, a little bit of radiance, some skincare, some SPF, and it's just, it's just very easy wearing. It's fuss-free type of makeup. Now, if you are more so a foundation girl, I highly suggest the Le Mer Soft Fluid Foundation. You get great coverage, you get longevity. It's it's one of those foundations that the longer you wear it, the better it looks as it melds into the skin. As the Miracle Broth and skincare just work in with your natural oils and it just looks flawless and it holds up in humidity like nobody's business. <laughs> Moving on to concealer. I'm going to be using my Chantecaille Camouflage Stylo. This is an anti-fatigue correction pen concealer. So it's like a hybrid skincare concealer type of product that comes in a click uh, pen applicator with this little brush. It's hydrating, it corrects, it smooths. It also blurs your imperfections. It brightens, it lasts, and it feels great. Another fuss-free, easy kind of product. I'm gonna blend it out with my finger. And that's the beauty of this. It's very easy makeup. I think the hardest thing today is gonna be the eyes because we had to do a couple of steps. What I love most about the combination that I'm doing today, especially during the summer, is my skin still looks like skin. Now we set. I'm going in with the Ilia Soft Focus Finishing Powder. This is such a finely milled, smoothing, blurring, perfecting powder. And what I like about it is it gives hydration without causing any shine. So your makeup is gonna be set, you're gonna be blurred and smooth, but you're not going to get, you're not gonna be matte and flat, you're just gonna be blurred, perfected, without making you shiny. So it's a beautiful balance. And this is the new Wayne Goss Artist Brush. Came in a set. These are very, very soft, and I love the point for the under eye and like around the nose. And I'm just going in with my regular powder brush, and I have a little bit of powder left. <laughs> And I'm just going to set everywhere else very lightly. No full face of summer favorites is complete without bronzer. This is my Sicily bronzer. I love this bronzer. This bronzer gives you a little bit of glow while allowing you to build up your warmth. I like to press it into the skin and build it up until I get, you know, the desired look I'm going for that day. Moving right along, I'm gonna go in with my highlighter. And this one is from Chantecai. This is the Radiant Chic Cheek Highlighter Duo. 
my god, say that three times fast. <laughs> I'm going in with this highlighter, and let me tell you, this formula is just beautiful. I really like that it melds into the skin and just looks so beautiful. And you can build up the glow if you choose. And there's no there's no little fine glitters. It's just glowing skin. And when the sun hits, forget it. Forget it. And now we go into the plush. An honorable mention for bronzer, the Charlotte Tilbury bronzers. What a formula. Just wow. It melts into the skin. It looks beautiful. And... This is a great bronzer. Very quickly, just going in with a pencil brush and I'm gonna mix these two green shades and bring them on the lower lash line. And for the waterline, because we want something that's going to last and something that's not gonna smudge. Pat McGrath, the Permagel Ultra Glide Eyeliner in the shade Black Coffee. I think this formula is fantastic. It's a gel formula with great staying power. And I prefer using a dark brown over a black because it's not as harsh. Now when it comes to a mascara, I need something that's going to withstand humidity, something that's not going to flake, something that's not going to budge or irritate my eyes, and definitely something that's not going to give me raccoon eyes in the humidity, because that's not cute. <laughs> the Gucci mascara is who I reach for constantly because I know I can rely on it and depend on this formula. This formula is fully customizable. You can build her up to full-on spider lash drama effect or you can keep it simple and do a one coat. Either way the formula is going to perform the same. The formula is going to last. The formula is going to remain comfortable. And this brush it's designed to pick up all your little hairs. From the ones all the way in the beginning of the eye, the ones all the way at the end, and of course the ones all the way in the middle. And deposit this fantastic formula on every single lash. This brush is fantastic for the lower lash line. You really get to see the performance of the brush claims on the lower lash line. Now during the summer, for my lips, I want juicy, healthy, glossy, hydrated, comfortable, lips. And I don't mind having to take a lipstick with me to touch up. Now the one that I think is the best for the summer, and yes I have honorable mentions, but it's the Chantecaille. This is the Lip Tint Hydrating Balm and that's exactly what it is. You can leave it where you just have a little bit of color, more so like a stain finish. like that. And that's comfortable and that's fine, but check it out. You can build it up to your desired intensity, whereas you're going to have more color, still have your gloss and comfort. But the best thing is that once the gloss fades, you're left with the most beautiful tint on your lips. And you can totally build this up. I have built this up to people thought that I was wearing lipstick. Yeah. Honorable mentions for lips. Let's say you're more so a gloss girl. I highly recommend the Tom Ford Gloss Lux. What a beautiful formula. It's not sticky. It's not heavy. It's super comfortable. The color selection is great. This one is the shade Impabition. The next one is another buildable lip product. It is a sheer lipstick from Gucci. Now this one, okay, you can totally leave it kind of sheer, very similar to the balm that I'm wearing now, or you can build her up. Either way, the formula is so comfortable. And hey, if you just want a regular old lipstick, but not any old lipstick, something a little extra, something a little bougie, <laughs> the Bond 9 lipstick. They have the best formula, and this color is in the shade Central Park. This is another very easy, very beautiful color. Very pigmented. And listen, and taking this around with you, 
Yes, please. <laughs> I love this look because it looks more than it actually is. I think because I have a little bit more than your traditional bronzy eye going on, it just looks like I have more going on my face than I actually do. My skin still looks like skin and I can go out and about all day. And I know this is gonna hold up for me. It's something that's going to feel good and feel comfortable for long periods of time. Living in Florida, I've had to make sure all of my products can withstand summer all year, <laughs> pretty much. And I'm really happy that I'm able to put all of my real favorite go-to products for the summer together and create this fun look. I'd love to hear what some of your favorite products are for the summer that you just can't live without. Comment them down below. I can't wait to go and watch Dee's video. She's just the sweetest soul. Guys, don't forget to head over to Dee's channel, show her some love, subscribe, and guys, let's continue uplifting each other. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Let me share this full face with my summer favorites. And of course, some honorable mentions, you know, couldn't help myself. <laughs> All right, guys, stay strong, stay healthy, and you stay beautiful. I'll see you soon. Bye.